with wild mushroom risotto. Uh, risotto is, uh, it can be vegetarian, vegan, or just with meat. Uh, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna make wild mushroom risotto, which can be, again, vegan, assuming you don't put butter in it, and just use olive oil and mushrooms and arborio rice in a vegetable stock. And uh, if you want to buy uh, no dairy cheese, you can do that to, to sprinkle it on top after uh, after you cook the risotto. Uh, here today we're going to do vegetarian because we are going to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on it after it's all said and done. Uh, with all that said, have a pan here and we're going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. Make sure it's nice and hot. Then. While that's heating up, I'm going to chop the mushrooms. What we have here, we have some king oyster mushrooms. We have some uh, shiitake mushrooms. And we have some regular white mushrooms. And we have some gnocchi mushrooms. We have some shallots. So we start with shallots, we throw in the mushrooms, and of course these mushrooms have been washed before we started this, just so you know. Now shallots, they're an onion family, and they taste between the onion and garlic. So if you can get shallots, and you want to use onions and garlic, by all means do so. So we started out with some olive oil, and we're gonna throw a little bit of butter, because strictly just for the creaminess of it, as well as for the taste. And this smells awesome. I wish you guys could smell it. Now, you can use either chicken broth in here if you want, or you can use a vegetable stock. The, the best way to make the vegetable stock is if you go to Colonial Coffee, and you ask them to sell you some vision, which is purely a vegetarian mixture that all you need is to add water to it and you have a veg vegetarian stock. Um, it's MSG free, and also you can just mix it with water, and if you wanna put noodles in it, you can have almost an instant soup. So what we did here is we made the stock from the vision, okay, and water, and we heated it up. So now, that our mushrooms are very glossy looking and soft. We're gonna add a little bit of Arby's Bristol cream. And we're gonna add Arborio rice. Now you make sure that it is Arborio rice because if it's not, it just won't work. And we cook that until the uh, Harvey's Bristol cream evaporates. And then we start by adding our vegetable stock. Now the trick here is to, you have to add enough vegetable stock or any stock that you're using to cover the rice completely. Now, you cannot leave this unattended. You have to stir till the rice absorbs all the liquid. And you have to repeat that until the rice is cooked. Anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. So as you can see, the stock is almost evaporated, which means that it's got absorbed by the rice. So basically what you're doing is you're cooking a rice and all the flavor of the stock and the drippings that are in the bottom there, garlic, mushroom, all the broth from there, is the rice, rice is absorbing as it is cooking it. That's why you need to add so much at a time. Don't add too much at, a, at one time because then it will not work. It will stick to the bottom of the pan and the rice won't absorb it as, as good as it is now. So again, we repeat that process. As you can see, the stock is right on top of the rice and we just keep stirring. Now, 
Now you should cook this on medium high because you want it to keep boiling, okay? Or just below boiling, okay? Because you gotta keep stirring it until the dish is done. So as you can see, there's the finished product. All the, the, the liquid has been um, sucked in by the rice. And as you can see, the rice is beautiful and creamy. So now what we'll do is we will take a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle it in, mix it in. And if you want, you can throw in a couple of sticks of butter as well. But uh, that just adds on extra calories. That's not necessary to do. And then uh, now it's the, the risotto is ready for lunch. So what we can do is uh, now if you have some sauteed shrimp and you want to saute a few shrimps, or if you got them, just put them on top of risotto. Okay, we'll show you how we can plate this. Um, and we're also gonna do uh, another vegetarian dish today. Uh, that's uh, leaf and stuffed tomatoes. And uh, what we wanna do with that is uh, to show you that it goes very nicely together. So we have a nice risotto. We have a nice tomato on there. And if you like, you can garnish it with a little bit of uh, mixed greens and uh, sprinkle a little more Parmesan cheese on top. And uh, there's your vegetarian dinner. Enjoy.